that I've developed a summer makeup routine for myself. I tend to wear it over the weekends where it's enough makeup for me to test things and of course to feel put together. But it's just a really lightweight, quick, easy look to do at the same time. For me, it's a good balance of being a makeup lover but beating the heat. I wanted to share it with you guys and some of the key products that I use and why I use, what I use, all of that. For me, there are two different looks that I'll do for a hot summer day. One of those looks will fight the heat where, you know, it's full coverage. I'm using bulletproof products. I am making sure my makeup looks the same way when I leave the house and when I get back. The other makeup look, which is the look that we're doing today, is the one that vibes with the heat, that goes with the heat. It lets the sweat happen, but you don't look like crap at the end of the day. So while it doesn't fight the sweat, you know, it lets the sweat come through, it lets it move the makeup around, the makeup is not gonna look bad at the end of the day. So that's what we're going for. This has been my weekend makeup. I've been wearing looks similar to this every weekend and I always come home and I always still look good. Maybe not as fresh, but it did a good job with the heat. This kind of routine is new for me. I just recently moved to a city in Florida, so it's humid and it's hot and humid where I lived in Maryland as well. But the difference is I live in a city now, so I spend more time outside than ever. I am always walking definitely exposing myself to the heat more than I ever have in the past. So I have adjusted my routine to such. So this routine is for the sweaty girls, the summer. Like I said, we're not fighting the heat with this one. We're going with it. We still want the makeup to feel comfortable and look good. And all of these products I very much enjoyed for this routine. I don't know why I felt the need to give you such a large backstory for that, but let's get going. I've been enjoying doing makeup tutorials lately. I think maybe I miss being a teacher. I just wanna teach and play with makeup. So of course, in the summer, one of the most important things is going to be to use your SPF. The SPF that I've been using every day lately has been the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. I put this on in the morning. Sometimes I use my Tula as well. I really like my Tula, but this is one that I'm working through. I think I recommend the Tula more than this, but like I said, I'm working through it. This one is really nice. I also like this one because it's hydrating. What I look for in my pre makeup up sunscreens is that there's a hydration factor to it. Since I just know I'm going to be sweaty today, I don't need a moisturizing primer or a glowy primer, which is what I would normally do for like a full coverage look or like I said, a look that fights the heat. Since I know we're going to look glowy on our own, <laughs> No glowy primers or anything. I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not trying to pile on makeup for this look. I don't want it to feel heavy on my face. So a product that I've been using for this everyday routine has been the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancers. I love this. Now this is the cream product. There also is a corresponding powder product to go over with this. I've been using the powder, but I don't love it. It's not one that I would say that you need, but this I like. I'm gonna mix the shades light and light medium, but if I'm going for a super natural look, I will use just light alone. If I'm going for a more makeup-y kind of look, I will use the shade light medium alone, but I thought we'd mix it. And I'm going to apply this to the outskirts of my face. So what makes this product different from any normal cream bronzer is the coverage of it. It's very light, it's very sheer, but it looks good on bare skin. A lot of times with cream bronzers, they're too pigmented and they're great for underpainting on bare skin, but with this Makeup by Mario, I just like the way that it looks with bare skin. If you have freckles and melasma, it just kind of smooths over them, evens that area out correctly it as well. I've been actually really enjoying these Makeup by Mario products for this purpose alone. Now if I just use the light, I feel like I am able to not even need anything else if I just want to give myself a quick bronze, but I'll use the light medium if I'm applying other products because the light medium makes it a little bit darker, so I definitely need more makeup around it, but it just looks so good on its own without needing any other makeup, which is why this product stands out. And because of the light coverage, what I get be of sweat on my forehead really bad. If I'm wearing something that's full coverage, it breaks up the product and makes my forehead up here look really 
really patchy and uneven. Since this has minimal coverage, the sweat does not affect this area up here. It does not make the area look really uneven or patchy, like I said. It just, it works with the natural ways that my face sweats. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna use some concealer. To go with the lightweight look, I need a lightweight concealer. It would look odd if I'm going for this light coverage look and I used a full coverage concealer. One of my favorite light coverage concealers is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. It's funny because I used to not like this concealer, but once I started appreciating it for what it is, a light coverage concealer, now I think it's good. So I'm gonna use this in the areas of the face that do not have the Makeup by Mario product. So it is somewhat of a foundation that I'm using it as, but it's just gonna even out the rest of the areas that have no other product on it. So I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out in the inner corners of the eye. And then with whatever is left, we put on the rest of the skin. Now why I'm choosing to use this technique as opposed to a skin tint, which I will do. I'm not axing it out, this is just what I've been doing lately, is because this requires less layers on the skin, which I think reacts to sweat better. Less layers of products the better and the better it feels on the skin as well it doesn't feel quite so heavy once your oils and your sweat starts to break through I'm gonna put a little bit in my nose I could use some coverage there and then if there's anywhere from the makeup by Mario product that looks a little patchy now from the concealer going over I'm using the light shade just to kind of smooth it over just like that but yeah this is pretty much just one layer of product and I feel like my skin looks really nice and healthy. I know, I think the Jones Road Beauty broke me out. I could be wrong. Can't confirm that that's what broke me out, but the timing was suspicious. But anyways, I really do think that this one layer of makeup looks really lightweight and natural. It reacts to sweat well, but I still feel perfected. Let's do eyebrows. I mean, I do my eyebrows pretty normally as I would. I wanted a brow pencil that was not too creamy so that the sweat wouldn't make the product slick around the face and keep the integrity. So I wanted a brow pencil that was a little bit more powdery. So the Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil, phenomenal. It is a drier pencil, which I think makes it really great in the summertime. Now, summer eyebrows aren't something that I really think that hard about. I just know I don't want anything too creamy. I know cream products are super popular in the summer, but you want to keep the cream products that you use to a minimum layer. I don't recommend if you're going to be super oily or sweaty, if you have cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlight, cream eyeshadow, a creamy eyebrow pencil, and you don't balance that with powders, it's kind of a recipe for disaster in the summer. You do need a balance to keep the makeup in one place. You know, you don't want it slipping and sliding all over your face. And I've seen a lot of summer makeup routines where people don't, you know, set their face and if that that works for you, that's great. I know for me, walking around and being under the sun for a prolonged period of time, my makeup would not do well with just cream products on my face. In many cases, I prefer the cream look in the winter over the summer because cream products are more popular in the summer, but honestly, I need the hydration and the glow that the cream products give me more so in the winter than I do in the summer. In summer, I need to focus a little bit more on longevity as opposed to that glowy look. I get that naturally in the summer. I don't need products to fake it. <laughs> and then you definitely want a long lasting eyebrow gel in case the sweat drips down your face. I'm really thinking through this, you guys, <laughs> that the eyebrows are gonna stay in place where you set them. So the Benefit 20 24 hour setter, amazing. And when you're wearing lighter makeup, it actually is flattering if you have the eyebrows a little bit more on the messy side to go with that natural look. At least that's what's trendy right now. So a good brow gel is gonna help you create a little bit more of a messy look and be able to hold it. So it's like an intentional messy, like the messy bun, you know, messy eyebrows. And because I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed in like two years, I always need a little extra help with concealer or something to clean up underneath. A concealer I think is a bit thick and heavy for me right now. So I've been using this pencil 
pencil to carve underneath my brows just to lightly clean it up. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Bisque. I really like it for just a quick cleanup under the eyebrows without being too thick and heavy of a product on the eyelids. So all I do is I just do a thin line under here, just like that. And then I use whatever brush I have near me that's small and synthetic, and I'll just kind of blend that in. This is a BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy and A505. And that just gives the brows a nice lifted clean look without too much product being added. And then for color on the cheek, I like a cream blush, but I find they fade away and they slip and slide if I don't use a powder over top. But a good happy medium that I've been enjoying is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light one and high blush. While this is a liquid blush, it does have a dry down to it which helps it last longer without having to use powder. So this is, I think, a really great product for the summer. This is really glowy too, so you actually don't even need highlight when you use this. So I'm just gonna focus it out here. I'm using a BK Beauty 106 brush and I'm just gonna press that in. Doesn't that look so pretty? It adds just a little bit of color. I do powder the face. I think powder is definitely necessary for me, <laughs> but I use a really lightweight, seamless powder. So I have been giving so much love to the NARS Light Reflecting Press Setting Powder. This powder feels like nothing. The Dior Powder No Powder is also really great. I think I prefer the Dior over this one, but this is the one that I've been reaching for these last few weeks. So I'm gonna use it in today's tutorial, but a powder like that, like the Dior No Powder Powder, or this is really great to set makeup in the summer because it's not too heavy on the skin but it does soak up the oils so i'm gonna focus that right here because we also want to smooth the face and then a little bit on the under eyes so mostly the t-zone area is where i'll put this powder so just like that looks really good and that's all I did for the face. It's a pretty relatively light layer of makeup. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna put down a little bit, just a little bit of concealer on the eyes just to even things out and work as something to hold on to the eyeshadow. I'm not doing an extravagant eyeshadow look so I don't feel the need to put down a base really. I think that this is good enough. And a lot of times I haven't even really been wearing eyeshadow so this is just just me being extra for the video because my go-to eyeshadow color for this summer is lime green eyeshadow. So I put out my current favorite lime green eyeshadow palette. This is the ColourPop in the Limelight and I'm going to show you super simple eye look that I do that is really summery but very simple because again, less is more with this. We don't want to go too intricate with the look because we don't want the heat and sweat to mess it up. But if you just get like one to two colors on the eyelid, you're good. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of layout and pop that in the outer corners of the eye, just like this. I mean, if you're looking for the perfect eyeshadow palette for summer, this is it. It's super affordable as well and it's really great quality from ColourPop. ColourPop can be a little bit inconsistent, as you know, if you've watched any of my ColourPop reviews recently. But this one is a hit for sure. One of my favorites for summer. And then let's also put just a little bit on the lower lash line. If the under eyes get creasy, this kind of helps hide that. And then we want the fun pop of neon on the eyelid. You can actually lay down one of the mattes first if you would like to. I'm going to keep it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to take some of Booked. Just going to do a light wash of the shimmer on the eyelid and call it a day but definitely layer a matte underneath if you want something more intense though you can see it's not like this is sheer or anything this carries a lot of pigment just wash it all over the eyelid i'm even going above the crease then make sure it's really well blended if I've said this before, I'm saying it again, this eyeshadow palette is a must, must, must have for the summer. I mean, I think that this is so fun, bright for summer without being too out there. I'm a neutral girl. I don't love or feel my most confident wearing color outside, but I do with this. Okay, and then eyeliner. Oh my gosh, I have been wearing my eyeliner like this and I cannot stop. And it is so easy to do and it's so subtle, but it makes such a big difference. So I'm gonna use a liquid liner. I've pulled the Tom Ford eye defining pen. Sometimes I'll just use eyeshadow or just a normal pencil, but if I want something more heavy duty, a liquid liner like this holds up really well. This is a phenomenal technique if you have hooded eyes as well. Anybody can do it, but hooded eyes, you're gonna die, live, breathe for this. So all I do is I just 
do a, a little mini tiny wing on the outer corner. So I just start like that. That's all I do, a line, and then slightly fill it in. Sometimes I'll do smaller of a wing, and then fill it in just a little bit. That's all I do for eyeliner this summer. <laughs> I know it's not gonna run this way. If you have oily or hooded eyelids, the eyeliner won't smudge this way or transfer, but it still gives that elongated effect to the eye, which I really like. So let me do the other eye real quick. So again, just Flick it out, short and sweet. That was longer than I wanted it to be, but whatever, we'll go with it. And then slightly fill it in. And then literally, you guys, it's amazing. Eyeliner like this, it takes two seconds to do. It's really, really easy, but it still makes an impact and it's mess free. So mascara, we wanna have a good mascara. We want our lashes to look good since we have such a thin liner and I haven't been going through the trouble of falsies. I would recommend a waterproof mascara, but honestly, I can't stand waterproof mascaras. Like taking them off at night is too much of a struggle that I don't even bother, but a waterproof mascara is really good in the summer, obviously because of the heat going on, but also because it's gonna help hold a curl, which you want since we don't have falsies on, but I don't care. To me, it's just worth it to use a non-waterproof mascara, but if you wanna hold that curl and your lashes to be bold and the longevity aspect of it all, then you should probably use waterproof, but anyways. I'm gonna do my lower and upper lashes real quick. So I ended up just using the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. I really like this mascara, so yeah. I mean, I don't worry too much about my lashes, really. If I want bold lashes, I will put on falsies, and if I'm going for a more natural look, then I won't, but yeah. Now lips, I'm pretty lazy with my lips in the summer. So I just like to use a lip colored lip liner and then something hydrating on the lips, something that's gonna fade away really pretty and is low maintenance. So I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Labs Ultra Lip Pencil in Done Undone. This is pretty much the color of my lips, but it's very long wearing, so that's why I like it. And I'm gonna slightly overline, nothing too crazy, because when it fades, you don't want it to look wild. You can see this is pretty close to my natural lip color, slightly lighter. And then I want something quick, easy, hydrating, pretty for the lips. These are a gem from ColourPop as well, the Glowing Lip product. I have the shade Cockatoo that I'm gonna pop on. These are nice and slim for the purse. Be careful because they might melt, so maybe you might not want something in a solid form, just to keep in mind, but I still like it. I like throwing it in the purse, it's comfortable and quick to apply. I'm gonna pop this on, you see it adds a pretty shine to the lips. They have a lot of different colors. This is the one that I just happened to grab out of my drawer. And then finally, we're gonna use a setting spray to finish us off. My favorite long-lasting everyday setting spray is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I really do feel like this helps with the longevity of the makeup, and I also feel like it makes the skin look better. So this is what I like to use. Urban Decay All Nighter is another great one. Charlotte Tilbury is the best, in my opinion. I need to buy a smaller, more portable handheld fan if you are sweaty like me. I think that would be a game changer. My husband and I were talking about that, how I need a smaller fan to keep, because this one is a little heavy. But if I kept one in my purse, I think that would help with my sweatiness. My hair it has been awful. <laughs> I cannot do anything about my naturally frizzy hair. There's no use in styling it. It will go back to looking like this. So yeah, my hair has been looking not good in my videos. Nothing I can do about it, but <laughs> this is the final look. I've been wearing makeup looks very, very similar to this this summer. I love the fun pop of color on the eyelid. This is gonna be somewhat long wearing. The most important part for me about this everyday routine is that it felt comfortable on the skin for me being sweaty and it didn't look terrible after I started sweating. This makeup really works with your sweat as opposed to fighting it off. So I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday summer makeup routine. Let me know your thoughts and your favorite products for the summer, and if you've been enjoying the tutorials that I've been posting. All right, guys. Thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.